gave you a pen. I opened up the back gate. I'm throwing wood, bringing it inside the house. My wife's inside. She was actually wrapping gifts, so we thought it was a good idea that they got our youngest to go outside and play with chalk on the, the back patio. The first thing I would do, you stick a microphone in my face, three microphones in my face, help me find my babies. Here's what I would say. He goes through and describes vividly how he's seen them. He goes from chopping wood to bring it in the house, seeing them playing with chalk and doing all kinds of things. It's a whole lot of detail that you don't need. This is a prepared statement. Now, why he prepared it is a different story. It means that he has gone through in his head and decided what he's going to say, that's important. And he's decided which details he's gonna reinforce because he says them more than one time. And then suddenly it just kind of goes to hell. Hell. There's no emotion here at all. I would say this is a uh, disgustingly uh, uh, deceptive here. Starting off this hour with an update in the case of those two missing boys from California City, Orin and Orson West. We just spoke to the biological mother. She says she had a conversation with you guys um, and that she thinks there's some kind of foul play involved. That she thinks you guys did something. And that's understandable. What's your, what's your response to that? That's understandable. I would think the same thing. Why is foul play understandable? There's no denial. Why is there no denial? The adoptive father and mother, Trezell and Jacqueline West, have both been arrested on charges of murder. We were told the best are out here looking already just to stay put. They have more questions. These particular cops decided that these two weren't going out. What gets triggered in me is I go, why aren't they, why are they continue the questioning? What have they seen that I'm not getting to see? There's no desire in either one of them to get their kids back. There's some small comments, you call the police, call, here's the exact city that you need to talk to to make it sound more official. Uh, there's no desire. It's about their innocence and how they did everything right. And it's about the past, not about the future. According to the Superior Court website, the couple were booked on two counts of second degree murder, two counts of willful cruelty to a child, and a misdemeanor count of filing a false report of an emergency.